Hello everyone, I'm here with my friend Zag, and we're gonna discuss the new video this new video game console coming out called the Ouya. Yes we are. So and, and the funny thing about this was like it's so like it's very at this point, it's very like uh low key. Like it's very like it's still not very well known. Like Zag here when I first t like talked to him about it, like uh he thought I was referring to the Wii. Well, uh, at at first, when you mentioned a new console, I about I was thinking, you know, the Wii U. Yeah, yeah, the Wii U. Like, uh... Yeah, I definitely did not, uh... Definitely did not hear about this one. Yeah, so, I mean, like, this just shows, like... And especially Zach being the video game expert that he is, this shows that, uh... This shows that, uh... Like, it's still very, like, low-key. Like, it's very underground. It's definitely, uh, the pinnacle of indie... And uh, that's one of the points we're going to talk about here with the Ouya video game console is it seems to be very indie. Yeah, that's. I mean, there's really no other way to describe it. Now, um, the way I found out was by a Smosh article. Um, and in the Smosh article, it said uh, like it put a question mark and it said like uh, it said a uh, possible contender for uh, other consoles or something like that Xbox PS3 and whatnot yeah it said um, um, it said uh, re ready to compete with Nintendo Sony and Microsoft um, I would be I wouldn't you know like obviously we, we wouldn't count on that happening but like hey if it did happen you know cool who knows I mean they might give them a run for their money I mean to be honest like some like people are probably saying like, nah, it's not gonna do well. You know, it's indie games. It's not big franchise games like Halo or God of War. You know. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, again, that that all depends on the consumer demand. You know, if people are kind of tired of the just the three deadlock video game consoles, and it's been like that for over a decade now. It's been mainly just primarily just Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. It's, in my opinion, it's about time somebody new stepped in. Yeah, so, um, this, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, um, <laughs> I think it has great, great potential for a couple reasons, and Zach, I want to see if you agree with me or not. One, the price of the actual console itself is $99. That's what, uh, that's what drew me to it, so. The, um, the other thing I liked about it was like you know how most video games when they first start out it's like six dollars and there's people who are actually complaining about that like and I don't blame them I agree with them they think a game is not worth sixty dollars and to be honest I completely agree with that I think like video games are still stuck like back in like 2005 you know where like, yeah. everything else including DVDs and CD albums have gone down and lower in price but video games are still basically around the six dollar mark you know I mean, it's definitely uh, still pretty pricey. You know, nowadays I'm uh, I've resorted to GameFly. Oh, you have you have GameFly? Yeah, I mean, but it, exactly for the reason you know you said because you know I'm sick and tired of new games being like fifty and sixty dollars. You know, I just don't have it, so we'll just wait till wait till they you know wait till they're on GameFly and just get it for only fourteen bucks a month. You know? Yeah. Uh, the um the OU, the OU oh yeah there you go you got it um thank you <laughs> yep uh the thing about this since it's indie games the developers of the games themselves will will price their own prices you know they'll set their own prices for their own games so you know if I was you could probably have like games going around twenty dollars you know fifteen dollars you know instead of sixty dollars. It kind of reminds me of Steam in a way. Oh yeah, Steam. I, I I don't use that that often, but I know about it. Yeah, I I bought a game off of it, but um, I think it's pretty much the same concept. Like it's it's been, it seems to me like Steam in a console. Right. I think that's what they're trying to do here. Is they're trying to get like indie games to like a TV a TV screen instead yeah. of just being on a, a PC, because like that's what I've heard is like. A lot of the, like indie games are just very like dominant or like only really exist in PC. 
you know. Yeah, and there is a there is a pretty big market for indie games, so. So I mean, yeah, be a lot. Of, I think there could be a lot of potential here with the indie games, and yeah. you can add that on with like um, a cool a cool cool looking game controllers that seem very simple in their design, also followed by a ninety nine dollar video game console itself, with uh, followed by you know the game developers being able to price their own games, you know, and these are like people who you know are still trying to work their way to the top here. This uh. This whole video game council could potentially give um, them, you know, some extra earnings. You know. Yeah. Uh, do you notice any of the games that are coming out? Um, one thing that caught my eye was uh, uh, it's going to incorporate Minecraft, which I'm sure you know is a pretty popular indie PC game. Yeah, definitely. I just use an oxymoron on popular indie. Uh, I'd like to but, share uh, something here from the website. By the way, the company I, I, I believe is called Kickstarter. Yeah. Their pledge was for $950,000, right? Mm-hmm. By, their, uh, by the end of next year, I think. Yeah, that was their goal. And, um, they have, they have, uh, people have donated or backed this, uh, oh yeah, video game, co- oh yeah, video game council by $4 million. So that, nice. it, that exceeds the pledge, you know, limit right there. Yeah. Well, so, that's good. The, the, you know, somebody's helping them contribute. Yeah, um, I would like to buy this game console. I just, again, don't see myself doing that. Because, like, I just, for some reason, I just, like, say, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy that, and then, just, and then I just never buy that. Right, right. Yeah, like, at this point, you'd probably feel like you're just buying it just to buy it. I mean, like, this looks more interesting to me than the Wii, though. No offense, eh. no offense to any Wii players. I, th- I, I think you're also a Wii player, too, Zach. Uh, I'm, I've been a Nintendo guy since age two, so, yeah. Hey, man, nothing wrong with the N64, that's all I can say, you know? Well, yeah, don't get me wrong, the N64 was amazing, but, I mean, uh, the, the Wii is like, is like Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. Yes, he had potential to become great, but he didn't do anything with it. And, yeah. <laughs> Funny analogy there. <laughs> but, um, I mean, and plus the Wii's got some good stuff. You know, like Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Um, oh, yeah, definitely, dude. Like, that's what I play on the GameCube, though, you know? Like, that, I remember melee. playing, not yeah. really, it wasn't Brawl, it was Melee, but, like, I remember playing that, like, with friends when I was younger, you know, like, staying up till, like, 3 o'clock in the morning playing that game. You know, that was uh, fun, you know. Good times. Yeah. And plus, uh, Zelda Skyward Sword. That was pretty awesome. But, uh, so, I guess, I guess now we've kind of ventured on, uh, how it would fare against the Wii. Um. I think it'll, I think it might have potential to go against the Wii. Possibly. I mean, the Wii is kind of, I mean, even though it's not as uh, revered as you know the 360 and the PS3 I mean it still created a pretty good uh, foundation you know like a pretty good empire I want to sell mine (laughs) (laughs) Um, I mean look I I just don't I just was that was just me though I'm just bad with the Wii I wish I I wish I would have gotten the PS3 yeah yeah, PS my PS3 is awesome I mean I'm really glad I got it but um you know what, maybe in a few years later, once the Wii becomes a bit more, if the Wii becomes, you know, a bit more obsolete, then yeah, probably the Ouya would maybe rise up above it. Who knows? Um, the thing about, like, uh, see, I don't know really about indie, like, games, because, like, the thing that co- first comes to my mind when I think of indie is, like, indie rock music. Yeah, it, I- think of think of it like this. A lot of indie bands, uh, you know, the the indie, it stands for independent. It's because a lot of those indie bands, they they don't have, you know, a big record label. They're, hence, you know, the independent. And it's kind of like uh, these indie games, you know, they're not with a major video game corporation. It's just like a small local place that, you know, a local group of designers and programmers, uh, like the guys who made Minecraft. 
So you that's, know, that's the way to think about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, it's just like, you know, not a big corporate kind of thing. That's indie. Okay. Thanks for helping me out there. Oh, yeah, no problem. I mean, basically, it just means anybody can make them, so. And, hey, you know, that, that's going to help, too, because, like... Again, that's going to open up the market for people who might not exactly be able to get a job with, like, a bigger video game company. Or, like, you know, it might be able to open up the audience for people who are independent game developers, you know? Yeah. So, uh, it all depends, really. And, um, I guess it depends on, like, if you're into that, you know? Like, if you're really into the indie game market, or, like, if you favor, like, um independent games over like a big franchise corporation stuff like Microsoft and Sony and yeah. Nintendo um, and, uh, go ahead I don't know though cause like the only thing that really peaked out to me like was like Minecraft again cause like that's like the only yeah. thing I recognized you know was Minecraft when I watched the video from right now I can understand but like uh I mean who knows maybe they might have some really good games on there you know I, d- I did I did like the look of that one samurai game. I think it was the first one that popped up on the screen. There there was some kind of samurai game, and uh, I like you know I love anything that involves uh, samurai. So I wonder I I wonder how the online portion of this game is going to work out of this console. My bad. Oh, uh, it's okay. Um, like I said, it's got a built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, I mean, it's not really, you know, new, but it's pretty useful. Um, I really, it's probably not going to be any different from, you know, PSN or live. Yeah, you know, just, just, I mean, I mean, online gaming nowadays is, there's really nothing new to it anymore. Yeah. You know? Right. Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping the signal strength for it is going to be pretty well because you know I've played live a few times and the signal always crap or not always but crapped out on me a lot of times um and one thing I did notice is that they're allowing they're allowing hacking oh yeah it's, I forgot about that go on about that yeah like modding and hacking yeah well you know speaking of online and all that um I mean it's pretty much the same concept as jailbreaking, you know, or jailbreaking your iPod or iPhone. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, like like the guy on the one video said, it's got a good side to it, and it's also got kind of a bad side, you know. Um, like, on the good side, you know, people can maybe uh, take a look at some of the software, maybe get some ideas, you know, or they could... Uh, add their own stuff, add their own features, which I definitely like. Uh, I think it's, I see a lot of creativity in that, and, you know, creative things that can come from that. Um, other than that, I mean, yeah, in terms of the bad hacking, you know, like modding and all that, it's, I don't think too many people are going to do it, because it'll, it'll kind of be expected, you know? Right. So, I mean, you know, if I were a, the typical modder, which uh, which I'm not, thankfully, and never was, I just play the game for fun, um, you know, I would be like, all right, time to mod my character. Yeah, but people people probably are, would already be able to tell. Maybe I shouldn't, you know. Now, um, what I also like is the size of this console. Yeah. It yeah. seems like a very, like small size compared to the other like stuff that's out there right now especially for you know um for everything that's inside it yeah so like and that brings up a point you know where you're in college i'm about to go into college do you think this would appeal to people who are in college oh absolutely you know uh especially the college night owls which i have become a part of you know i'm always staying up till like two or three you know, playing video games and yeah, and it looks like a pretty good party console. You know, kind of like the Wii. Um, right. You know, just that kind of that kind of console that has games where you know all your buddies can just do multiplayer with and have a good time. All that. Yeah, I, de- I can definitely see this appealing to college kids. 
Especially, like, again, just because of the price and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, with all the uh, loans and or tuitions and all that, so. So, like, okay, um, well, that's about it then for the OU. That I think I, that I got it at that time, right? Uh, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Darn it, I keep doing that. Just, just trying to imagine a person from Wisconsin saying, uh, oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, like, we can, like, discuss, like, you know, I guess we can say, like, how is it going to do against, like, Xbox and PS3 and Nintendo Wii, but, I mean, like, in all truth, like, we really can't actually, like, determine that right now, you know? Yeah. There's no, really no way for us to judge it, so I think we're just going to leave that off. And uh, for people who are listening to this, um, if you feel like, you know, expressing your opinion about it, about, like, if you think this is going to, like, like, be, like, some kind of, like, competitor or something like that, we really don't want to judge right now because we really think we shouldn't. But if anyone else feels the feel, cares to judge about like the potential of Oya, oh, yeah, then yeah, yeah go good. ahead and comment. Yeah, but I'm curious to see what some people have to say. So, all right, everyone. Well, thanks for listening in. Thanks a lot, guys. Always a pleasure. Take care. <laughs>